God bless you. So, today we're beginning with daily devotional time to the Lord to start our day as we mean to go on. Oh, Father in heaven, in Jesus' mighty name, we call on you. We seek your guidance, your counsel. Lead us, Lord. Lead us upon the straight and narrow path. Guide us and strengthen us. Show us your ways that we may humbly follow. O oh Lord, hear my humble prayer. May I serve you ever faithfully. May I turn from all wrongdoing. May my heart ever be strengthened as I follow you wholeheartedly. May I forever seek your face. Shine upon me, Lord, that I may walk as the light you wish me to follow. Chip away at this heart, Lord, that there be no stoniness, but a heart full of flesh and love. May we always love you with all our heart, and all our strength, and all our mind. May we, Lord, O oh Father in heaven, follow you ever faithfully, and love one another as Jesus loves us. When we know something to be wrong and to be sinful, may we have no desire for it, nor intentionally do it. And as we learn and as we grow, Lord, show us what is right and what is wrong, that we can follow your will. Give us the strength as we trust in the sacrifice of your son, Jesus, as he died for us on the cross and rose on the third day, that we, as we come to you humbly, repenting for all our weaknesses, all our struggles, all our fears and our worries, forgive us, Lord. Forgive us, Abba. We are but children. Strengthen us with the nourishment of your word. Give us guidance and understanding. Your wisdom we do seek. Your understanding and knowledge we need. For the days are becoming very dark and very evil. We pray for our spiritual armor to endure, to persevere, and to overcome that which is coming. That we stand wholeheartedly on stone. That we be steadfast for you, Lord, working together, following Jesus' example in our everyday lives, consistently building our relationship with you. Oh, Abba, we believe in you, we trust in you, we have faith in you. Jesus, you are our salvation. Lead us through the Holy Spirit. Work through us to bring more to you. That we stay humble. Let there be no lust, no greed, no desire, no immorality, no idolatry, no idol worship. For I am but nothing. May I but follow your ways and never my own. May we be remoulded as clay that is fitting and pleasing in your eyes. That we always put you first, your kingdom and your righteousness before all things. We love you, Father. May my heart have a good conscience, a pure heart, and a sincere faith. As I walk with you, guide me to help others in all earnestness, Lord. Help us to all help one another in love and in kindness and in devotion to you. May we stay humble. May we stay repentant. Don't let me become haughty nor proud. Never to judge others, but to guide with love in all things. For you, Jesus, are the way, the truth, and the life. And none come to the Father, except for through you. We give thanks. We are so thankful for all you do. We see the clouds, we see the plants and the insects and all the things of the world. Even the wind blowing, as things upon it move all beyond my understanding every organ in the body working for your glory how can we ignore such greatness
Thank you for healing. Thank you for guiding. Thank you for strengthening. Take care of the little ones. They need you in these dark, dark days. Deception abound, but open the hearts. Let them feast on your word and learn from it and grow in it. We need strength and understanding. We seek your kingdom. Blessed be your holy name. We give thanks for our food this day. Forgive us our sins as we forgive others that trespass us. Lead us unto salvation. Deliver us from the enemy. Keep us hidden, keep us safe. That there be nothing to tempt us. May there be no temptation. As we grow ever strongly in your love. Teach us your holy ways. That we may humbly follow. Blessed be your kingdom. For yours is the kingdom and the glory. Your will be done. Your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. O oh Lord, your will be done in my life. May I follow faithfully. May I be the trustworthy servant. May I abide in you and be a part of the vine. And stay trusting in you, abiding in you. Repenting and turning from all wickedness, for you saved my life. May we follow. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, we go into Psalms. To read the Psalms and to understand who God is to us. I'd like to begin with Psalm 23. For the Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me besides the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Blessed be, for God is our shepherd. We have nothing to fear, nothing to worry. When the struggles of the world get on top of you, this psalm will remind you who God is. And then, Psalm 91. For the days can be a struggle, but there is always this trust, for he is my fortress and my protection. Psalm 91. You who live in the secret places of Elion, spend your nights in the shelter of Shaddai, saying to Yahweh, my refuge, my fortress, my God in whom I trust. He rescues you from the snare of the foulest set on destruction. He covers you with his pinions. You find shelter under his wings. His constancy is shield and protection. You need not fear the terrors of night, the arrow that flies in the daytime, the plague that stalks in the darkness, the scourge that wreaks havoc at high noon. Though a thousand fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, you yourself will remain unscathed. You have only to keep your eyes open to see how the wicked are repaid. You who say Yahweh my refuge and make Elion your fortress. No disaster can overtake you. No plague come near your tent. He has given his angels orders about you to guard you wherever you go. 
They will carry you in their arms in case you trip over a stone. You will walk upon wild beast and adder. You will trample young lions and snakes. Since he clings to me, I rescue him. I raise him high, since he acknowledges my name. He calls to me and I answer him. In distress I am at his side. I rescue him and bring him honour. I shall satisfy him with the long life and grant him to see my salvation. God is safety, our Father in heaven. He is our shelter. He is our refuge. And it is in God in whom I trust. Our Father in heaven rescues me from those that wish me destruction. He covers me with his mighty wings. In him I have protection. His shield shields me. I need not fear the terrors of night nor day. I need not worry about the darkness or the scourge that is upon the earth. I need not worry while others fall down left and right for no plague will come near my tent. For I trust in God, for he is my fortress. He is my refuge. He is my protection. He guards us everywhere. Now I don't know if you've ever had any strange situations where you're like, that should have gone completely different, and I can't explain why it didn't. How did I survive? For as it says, he has given his angels orders about you, to guard you wherever you go. And they will carry you in your arms in case you trip over a stone. And blessed be the Lord, acknowledge him every day. You'll see great works in your life, as I have in mine. I have no doubt that the Lord watches us ever intently. May we seek his goodness, his joy, his love. For now I'd like to go to Matthew chapter 5. We're going to look at the beginning of Matthew chapter 5. I'm going to go from verse 3. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they revile and persecute you, and say all kinds of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. And then, from verse 14, You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand. And it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works. And glorify your Father in heaven. Cast off the world. Live in the spirit, not in the flesh. Seek God ever more diligently. Let his peace be among you and upon you all. Now, be meek. Seek righteousness and be merciful. Be loving, be kind. Be peacemakers. Don't look for strife and arguments. Don't be gossipers. 
and be judgmental. If something you know to be wrong, use scripture to enforce what you say, but say it in love. For if we walk off the edge of the cliff and die, it is utter destruction, a lake of fire, where its fire is unquenchable, for it will never be quenched, and the worm does not die. Lead with love and kindness. Pray for your enemies. We pray for those that hate us and are lost and cannot see the truth. May we not be as clanging cymbals when we shout the word of the Lord. May it be with love, for without love it is all in vain. May love always shine brightly in all of our hearts. May we glorify you and not ourselves. O oh, Father in heaven, may we lead everyone to your glory and your goodness. Give us strength that we can light those walking in darkness, that they can turn from darkness and find you, to be strengthened in you, to live faithfully with you, growing in their journey with you. Jesus' name, amen. The Lord will guide you all, and there will be hardship. But do not worry, for Jesus overcame the world. Be prepared for tribulation. Don't expect to disappear from it. This is a harsh world now, and it will get harsher still. The birth pangs. Nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and love running cold. Earthquakes in various places. We can see the signs. I'm not expecting to disappear, but I'm praying for the strength to endure it. Praying for the strength to stay loving and sharing the gospel with others while I can, because I can, so I can. Picking up my cross daily, renouncing self, denying self, following Jesus' loving example, loving one another as he loved us, and he died for every one of us. Repenting, naming sins, turning from them, growing in God's guidance, not giving up. And bringing those struggling out of the fire. That they can be encouraged and strengthened also. That we work together in the body of Christ in love. For we are all of one body. And there is but one head. And you would not exalt your foot over your hand. Or exalt your elbow over your knee. All parts are necessary. For if you lose one then another part will not work. All of the body of Christ are important. We lord nothing over anyone, and no one is better than anyone. For it was Jesus, the master, the rabbi, that came down, and he washed the feet of the disciples. He humbled himself. He lived here upon this earth. Didn't come here and was in great glory of people. Going, ah, here's your throne, here's your kingdom. He was rebuked by the Pharisees and the Sadducees. They plotted to kill him. And kill him they did. Crucified him upon a cross. He had nowhere to lay his head. And in love and compassion, he came out to help everyone, to teach everyone, to heal, to share the word, to bring people to God. Our Father in heaven. Let his example be a lesson to us all. Learn from Jesus, for his yoke is light. He is the way and the truth and the life. Be at peace with God guiding you. Don't be disheartened by what you see, for more is still to come, more still to follow. There will be those that will argue, there will be those that wish to fight. Oh, I disagree on this single point. How can it be? 
But all things happen in stages. Jesus had to be baptised first. Then he preached the word. And his disciples were baptising the people. And then he had to die. Shed his blood. And be raised on a third day. And he had to go up. That the helper, the paraclete, the spirit of truth could come down. And guide us all. Things are done in stages. Everything has its place. Let's all work together and do our part for the glory of God. There is still much happening. They are changing laws. They are removing laws. Persecution is increasing. And this book will be disappearing soon. Don't know if you are aware of the changing school teachings. But they're becoming very much in opposition of this book. There are more and more nations putting laws in where you can be arrested for preaching this book. And in fact, there are people being arrested for it and churches being burned down for teaching it. Things are gearing up for we will be hated by all nations on account of his name. The servant is not greater than the master. For if they persecuted the master, they will persecute you also. So be prepared. Don't be shocked by it when it comes. Be strong in your faith. Put on your spiritual armor. Rebuke wicked spirits. In Jesus' name. That you be washed clean in the blood of the Lamb. That we can see clearly. And follow him wholeheartedly. For as the persecution grows, nations are rising up against nations, kingdoms against kingdoms. There are lies for truth, sweet for bitter. Isaiah 5.20 The world is changing. And when a wicked man is in power, the whole world groans. There is much to come. And still more to be done. Israel has now started practicing the sacrifices. They are readying to sacrifice on the Temple Mount. And their new leader is very, very, how do we say, set in his ways. He won't have any of this rubbish that's been going on before. don't know if you've been watching the Israel news. But with these little balloon bomb things that they keep sending out, they're sending airstrikes against that. He's having none of it. More will happen and the whole world will go, oh, no, no, no. For the whole world will turn against Israel. Watch the signs. Watch what's happening. There is a nation on this planet. And it's coming to an end. You can see the signs. You can see the perverseness of its supposed leader or puppet. Now, as these things go on, the whole world is being led on by another. And there is more to come. Stand prepared, stand steadfast. As we seek our Father and trust in Him to guide us through it. For we know that they wage war on those that hold to the testament of Jesus and follow his commands. May we be strong in our faith, upholding Jesus' name. Do not be afraid to share your faith. Love God with all your heart, all your mind and all your strength. And may we love one another as ourselves. Treating one another as we ourselves would like to be treated. Make sure you own a physical copy of the Bible. Because digital devices are completely controlled. And anything on them that would be deemed offensive. Say a 
Bible would have to be gone. Warning, this is not acceptable, and is then alerted and taken off. Think of Trojan horses and how they work. Exactly. Now, spend your time in the Bible and not the world. Don't be deceived by the television. It's to lead you away. The world is lukewarm and accepting everything. Because it might offend if you don't. To be a Christian is to offend. And that is the way it is. It doesn't say to do this and do that. It says don't do these specific things. And these are the things that don't get into the kingdom. And as Jesus said, many will come in my name. And if you translate that sentence, the word was most common will come. So most will come in his name. More than just many, because many could mean a lot. But most, that changes it entirely. If most are coming, then how much more do we need to wake up and get right with God? How much more do we have to be focusing on God and realizing that we've been taking it all for granted? Humble ourselves before the Lord, rejoicing and praising Him, giving thanks to Him, singing, spending time with Him, for he wants to spend time with you. May we all seek God wholeheartedly, praising and giving thanks to our Father in heaven. Be encouraged. Do not fear. Do not worry. For he, his will be done in all our lives. God bless you all.